We are back in Tokyo. Uh, we've kind of missed the place. I think it's our favourite, maybe, city. Um, first of all, we're walking past political canvassing people down tiny alleyways to hit Sensoji, which is the big, huge main temple um, of Tokyo. And then we're going to check out Akihabara, which is the crazy, geeky kind of anime, manga area. And then take it from there. Two days left. Now, Sensoji is, the, is this massive red Buddhist temple, is Tokyo's oldest and probably one of its biggest. It was founded originally in the 600s, but I think most of what we will see is from the 1700s. And it's famously quite crazy. Uh, there's lots of little sort of souvenir shops around there, street food. So I think from this tranquility, we're going to dive into a sea of madness. And it's a weekend, um, but it should be really awesome. There's no inner peace to be had here whatsoever. It's impressive though. And it's quite amusing in a smug way to see people doing the wrong etiquette when they're paying in their money. <laughs> so it is only about half past 11 in the morning, but we have been up since the crack of dawn and we're starving. I think we're gonna try and get some fried chicken from a place which I saw recommended by a guy who famously loves fried chicken. So we're walking down a street lined with izakaya with places to eat and drink outside and it's got the great name of Hoppy Dodi, Hoppy Street. <laughs> That's cool. Here, yukari chicken. You order by the grams. Chicken here, I got on covered in garlic. It smells unbelievable. Have a little drink. Oh. I think that might be some of the best fried chicken I've ever had. Seriously, I don't, I'm not saying it's like, oh my god, this is amazing. It's genuinely gorgeous. Okay, that can go. Quick tip when you buy street food, you can almost always return the rubbish to that stand because there's not really many bins around here um, so yeah top tip first negative point and the only negative point really uh, for this country or this city not easy just to find a place to have a, a drink um, either there's a cover charge especially in the touristy areas where we are or things aren't open <laughs> or they're just expensive so we haven't got a drink we're going to carry on for a little bit Tokyo must be the quietest mega metropolis anywhere in the world. So we're approaching Akihabara, um, which Steve told me the other day, if I didn't know, I didn't read, <laughs> uh, it used to be an old black market place for old kind of radios and technology and bits and bobs. And there is still a couple of the streets apparently. I think actually near here, near the rail tracks, where people are still doing that. Um, but it's become like the center for everything from manga and anime culture to video game culture there's maid cafes robot cafes pokemon themed cafes and bars a lot so the first stop is a shop called super potato which i hope was a restaurant but apparently it's not it's a big video game lots of retro emporium to quite a terrifying entrance. I'll see you, my friend. Mm -hmm. 
Bang Avengers. I don't know what's going to happen. Let's see what happens, Steve. I'm Iron Man. Oh, I just almost punched a woman. Leave it to me. Okay. Oh, yeah? You want some of this? So we're going to get some lunch. We found a very cheap place right in the depths of this neighbourhood. So we're going to have a bit of food and then carry on. It's madness. So much of everything. So at these little canteen places, you usually have the plastic things on the outside. You take your order, give it to the lady. I feel like I'm at school, she shouts out your order. I've got a spoon, just realised. An actual spoon. I've gone for the katsu rice with an egg. Um, let's have a little test. Let's have a little test. Did that get mass? £4.50, that's pretty damn good. So I've just found out, for those in the know, that Akihabara is actually, for the locals, Akiba. So that's what we are doing in Akiba. So we just went around the Ota Memorial Museum, uh, which still we failed to get to when we were first here. We finally got in there and we saw lots of works by Hokusai, who was the guy who did the famous wave. They had the wave there. Artistic life complete. I'm not an art lover, as everyone will know, but that stuff was awesome. Very happy. It's Harajuku on a Saturday. <laughs> Heading off for some drinks in Ueno. We're going to meet up with a contact of mine called Mao. Yep and hopefully she's going to show us some fun places to eat and drink on our second last night. Hi! How's it going? Good, how are This is my you? friend Steve. Good place. What are we gonna do? Drink. What are we gonna drink? Beer. How much? <laughs> Tons of beer. Yes! <laughs> now, what's the cabbage called? Salted uh, cabbage. In Japanese? In Japanese. Haksai, haksai no tekemono. Yeah, I thought so. Tomato, which in Japanese is tomato. And this, what's this? Motu. Motu. Motu nikomi. What's that? Motu nikomi. It's a beef hormones. Hormones? Yeah. Oh, the, um, the, the, the intestinal stuff we saw. The glands. Yes, the glands. Beef glands. I think we saw this. Glands. Glands. G like bits of inside stuff. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's an official scientific. That's good. Steve! Yeah. And me! We're hands free. Mao is filming. He's going freestyle. Now, Mao. Which one is the kidney one? That one? Yes. That right. One. Yeah. We've put all of our trust in this woman. And so far, she's been pretty good. Good. Got a bit of kidney. Got a bit of kidney. Tastes like kidney. <laughs> All right. No, no. Why are you eating your, your tongue with soy sauce? Oh. No, 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 no. We put soy sauce on yakitori, and Steve's now got the face of death. The probably tastes better, right? Yeah, 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 I'm scared for a 
And it's fishy and it's tasty and it's served with mayo. And I love it. Thoughts, Steve? Oh, yeah, really good. <laughs> <laughs> How red is my face? Like uh, tomato <laughs> red. <laughs> tomato red, lovely. 